Okay, folks, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm building a natural, I guess, uh, rock or rock culvert right here. As you can see, I'm almost uh, halfway done. The way I'm doing it, I'm using uh, some of this talus rock from uh, Woodland Scenics. And I'm picking out uh, particular rocks that will fit uh, the shape that I need. Basically, I will uh, hot glue the rock. Put a little dab of hot glue on it. Come here and fit these rocks in place, like so. Kind of hard to see, but once it's finished, you'll see the uh, effect I'm trying to create. Something unique. Okay, so uh, we continue on with the uh, rock face culvert. You can see at this point I can still remove the uh, pipe. I have a nice neat hole where it plugs in. And in some areas you're in some areas you're gonna have to uh, cut back on the back of the uh, plaster. Maybe make a little notch so that all your uh, rocks fit in tightly. You can try different rocks. Make sure uh, how they fit best. And what I'm looking for is just a V, typical V-shaped culvert uh, made out of these rocks. Okay, so at this point, I've finished the. Uh, Talus or a rock portion of the culvert. I've uh, wetted it down some with some uh, scenic cement or some uh, water and uh, alcohol mix. And now I'm going to uh, went ahead and filled in some of the holes that were seen between the rocks with some uh, ballast. And I'm just uh, pouring a little bit of uh, scenic cement on the rocks to hold the uh, ballast in place, sort of like a grout line if you will, just to fill everything up. And a little here will go a long way. Now here you want to use the uh, scenic cement and not the Elmer's glue, because I definitely don't want these rocks to uh, be too shiny. Let that uh, dry. Okay, folks, so from the looks of that cup and the paintbrush, I've started to, uh, as you can see, I've started to ballast the track up here. And uh, I'm basically using the same technique that I've always used, which is basically paint. Get a mixture of uh, maybe 75% uh, glue, 25% water or less, just so that it's at uh, this cons consistency. Sorry about that. And just paint the edges of the road bed. And I'll come in and give it a light dusting just on the edge alone so the glue sticks only to the painted uh, side of the roadbed and then I'll come back and hit it with a little spray of water and soap just to have everything uh, smoothed down and then once that's dry I'll come down vacuum the track and I should have a nice uh, 
edge of the rope head move down like I have here. Then it's just a matter of filling in in the center and around the edges of the ties. It should, you should have a nice slope. So you can also see I've added the uh, light that I needed under this cabinet to get rid of some of the shadows and started adding uh, some of these Grand Central Gem pine trees. I still have to add a couple more. But you can probably see a small campsite that I have established up on the uh, clearing of the mountain area, a little flat area. And my culvert is dried. I think it looks pretty good. Give me your opinion. And here you can see I've uh, come in with some glue, 50 50 mix, brushed it on, and uh, poured some uh, dirt over the glue. Just like I did up in the uh, mountain area. We'll let that dry. Come back with the vacuum, vacuum it up, and I go from there. Okay, so I've started uh, with some of the green grass, or the burnt grass in the lower uh, portion of the mountain. And in this area here, as you can see, I'm uh, putting in some uh, yellow grass to simulate uh, burnt weeds along the uh, edge of the uh, railroad itself. Okay, so all of the uh, ground turf or grasses and dirt are in, in this area. All I gotta do now is wait for it to uh, dry, and then I'll proceed with uh, the soil in the bottom of the ditch and the rocks and twigs 